get into the action with Camp Cretaceous Hidden Adventure on Netflix. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Hidden Adventure video where today it's something slightly more darker than usual. Yes, Hidden Adventure is out and along with it comes a multiple choice styled video game episode where we get to take control of the characters from Camp Cretaceous and potentially even get them killed by making the wrong choices. So today's video is going to be a little bit on the darker side of things than you might have expected. Now, since this is a multiple choice and there are many other storylines, please do bear with me just in case I might have missed one or two death scenes throughout this interactive episode, because there are actually quite a lot, a lot more than I originally thought. But if I do happen to miss any death scene throughout Hidden Adventure, feel free to share them in the comments and let me know exactly what happens. Be sure to like the video if you happen to enjoy it at any given moment, as today's target is 2000 likes. Don't forget to also subscribe to the channel if you wish to stay up to date on all of the news from the Jurassic franchise. And also remember that this is the best place to be for casual and hardcore Jurassic fans. We're currently aiming to hit 175,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so it'll be a tight and close one if we manage to do so. But without any more delay, here are all of the wrong choices to get the campers killed in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Hidden Adventure. The first camper death would be set early on in the series. This is the second decision that you get to make within this interactive episode. The campers come across a herd of Ganymimuses before a flock of Pterandons swoop down and kill one of the Gallies. However, weird sounds are coming from the distance that spook the campers, and you're left with two sides of a decision. You can either choose the one from Sammy, where she suggests that we wait it out and see what happens, and the other one is from Kenji, who states that we just need to run and get out of there before the unknown creature attacks. These unknown creatures ended up being the Baryonyxes of Chaos and Limbo. Now, the right decision is obviously to stay back and wait. That would then allow the Baryonyxes to chase after the Pteranodons and leave the campers alone without knowing that they were there. However, if you choose to push forward and move on, Darius would come face to face with the Baryonyxes and then they would attack him and eat him on the spot. So that's the first wrong choice that would cause a campmate to die. Now, the next option is the first time it splits away into two separate stories. After the altercation with Blue in the Raptor Paddock, either with or without Bumpy, you're given the decision to go to the main street or go to the tunnels to look for the map towards Hidden Adventure and to find out what Hidden Adventure is. Should you choose Main Street, you come across a book that tells you all sorts of things about Hidden Adventure, but you also come face to face with Rexy. But don't worry, you're able to escape Rexy without even taking control. However, Sammy makes a silly decision to rip out a page from the book where a gust of wind then sweeps it from her hand, and eventually it lands on the guard railing for the Mosasaurus Lagoon. You're then given the option to either climb the railing for the page before the wind takes it, or take a leap of faith and jump onto the railing instead. If you choose the jump option, you can actually get Darius killed by the Mosasaurus here as he slips and falls through the railing, only barely catching himself. However, the Mosasaurus jumps out of the water and kills Darius. On the other side of the story however, you choose to go down to the tunnels where you come across a sleeping Cynoceratops blocking the way. You are left with the choice of retracing your steps and try to find another way around that Cynoceratops or potentially try to sneak past it. Now, sneaking past seems like the option to get the campers killed and potentially even squished by the dinosaur. However, picking the retracing your steps option will get you killed by Toro the Carnotaurus whom is also in the tunnels awaiting for you to turn around. Then you get all of the campers killed this way. Ah! 
Death number four. After escaping Main Street or the tunnels, you'll try to find a way to get to Hidden Adventure, and trying to get there quicker, the campers will decide to try and use the gyrospheres to speed up time. Upon doing so, you're riding around with the sauropods of Apatosaurus and Brachiosaurus. The next option that can get you killed is within these gyrospheres. After the Tarbosaurus reaches out and spooks the Brachiosauruses, the campmates try to get going as fast as possible before Ben and Darius notice that the stampede of the Brachiosauruses is about to lead into a very harsh way. A Brachiosaurus is about to tread on and squish Sammy and Yasmina within the gyrosphere. You're met with the option to either nudge them out of the way or hit the Brachiosaurus's leg and cause her to trip. Now, this was the only option I got wrong in my first run through, so I know that if you choose to knock Yaz and Sammy out of the way, you can get both Darius and Ben killed as the Brachiosaurus steps on their gyrosphere and squashes them, causing them to die. A very gruesome graphic to think of, isn't it? Now, after this, the story again splits on whether or not you leave Hidden Adventure via the Jeep, or perhaps take a ride on the roller coaster. For now, we'll follow the roller coaster path. When hopping on the roller coaster, the campers get going and try to avoid the Tarbosaurus. The Tarbosaurus causes havoc whilst they are on the roller coaster. Darius starts to realise that the female Tarbosaurus is tracking him due to his scent of smelling like the nest of the Tarbosaurus that he was in earlier on in the episode, meaning that he could still pose a threat to the nest and potentially even meaning that the Tarbosaurus could think that Darius still poses a threat to the nest. We're given the option of running away at the top of the roller coaster from the Tarbosaurus or washing off the scent via the water by staying on the roller coaster. Now, staying on the roller coaster and washing away the scent is the best and correct choice to make here. So choosing to escape and get away from the Tarbosaurus and the roller coaster will result in the roller coaster getting knocked off by the Tarbo and the Tarbosaurus eating the entire set of campers, leaving them all to die. The story continues after getting off of the roller coaster and heading back into Hidden Adventure. The campers make their way to the stall where Brimford's secret safe is located with all of the food inside. But first, they must input the correct code of either 2974, 2015, or 2005. Now, if you use your brain a little bit here, the correct answer is 2005. So picking any other answer besides 2005 will set the code to go loud with a beeping sound and attract the Tarbosaurus over to the campers and then getting them killed by the Tarbo once again. And that's where this episode then ends. The campers are safe within the bunker, with all of the food and water and this interactive episode comes to a conclusion. However, there's another storyline to follow that will allow for more deaths from the campers. Should we choose to follow the path of escaping via a jeep instead of a roller coaster, we jump on a ride where we're trapped within this vehicle as a robotic Ceratosaurus and Baryonyx duo come to attack the jeep. After all of this, the real-life Tarbosaurus comes out of the foliage and then also attacks the jeep. The campers are able to get away as the Tarbosaurus is distracted by the robotic Baryonyxes. Then we're met with our first choice to make on this storyline path. Yasmina suggests to follow the path of the jeep and then get back to Hidden Adventure as this is the right choice to make. However, Ben suggests to run to the emergency exit, but this is risky as it's too close to the Tarbosaurus. If you pick this decision to run to the exit, you can then have Kenji try to distract the Tarbo. It works, but she smells Darius right behind her and chases everyone down. Now, it seems like they're easily getting away, 
not before realizing and bumping into a wall that shows that they never built the exit in the first place and leaves the campers stranded who are then caught up to and eaten by the Tarbosaurus, which is yet another way to get the campers killed. They didn't finish the exit? This place is the worst. Now, should you pick the right option here and follow the path, you're coming across either Toro the Carnotaurus or potentially Rexy the Tyrannosaurus Rex, depending on if you choose to go to Main Street or through the tunnels and then you'll see a battle commence between Rexy and the Tarbo or Toro and the Tarbo. Nevertheless, they continue towards Hidden Adventure where you're choosing to either escape Hidden Adventure whilst you're alive or choose to instead distract the Tarbosaurus. If you pick to escape Hidden Adventure, you then discover one of the four endings of Hidden Adventure. However, if you choose to distract the Tarbosaurus instead, a chase endures where we then see the Tarbo chase down Darius again, showcasing yet another ending. So there's no real wrong decision to make here that would make any of the campers die, just the end of the storyline. But there you have it! Those are all of the ways to make the campers die within Camp Cretaceous Hidden Adventure. Now, there may be one or two more methods that I might have missed, but I can assure you that I've tried to look for those many, many times. So if you happen to have come across any more deaths within Hidden Adventure that weren't showcased in this video, feel free to let me know in the comments below so others can see and learn on what to do to watch these extra scenes. But from me, that's all of the campers' deaths within Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Hidden Adventure. I hope you've all enjoyed today's video, and if you did, show your support by pressing that like button, and don't forget to also subscribe to the channel for more Jurassic World content. But in the meantime, and most importantly, make sure you're all staying safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just wanna thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.